Hey guys, happy, oh, what's with my voice? I never spoke in a long time. Um, I apologize, first time for this video is going to be all over the place and not so much Reborn related. Um, <laughs> first of all, we've had a snowstorm for two days and we had a huge, I know, I know, it's April, it's April. But today, but we have snow, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, oh, look, there goes Bobcat. There goes Bobcat. He's probably clearing out some. Um, oh, my windows look so dirty. Look how deep it is. Oh, I don't. Oh, no one shoveled. No one shoveled that yet. So bright as the sun is bright. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot of snow. So deep. Normally Francis shovels. But he didn't shovel nothing. Uh, crazy, crazy. So even though it's gorgeous out, um, the past couple of weeks with all this COVID-19 going on, it's been crazy. The last video I made about uh, such a virus, um, YouTube did take away my monetization for that. Um, there were speculations by other YouTubers that if they spoke about that or if they, um, discuss that or update that like in the beginning before all this really played out um they were demonetizing videos like there was a third party taking the money but they didn't tell us who so anyways i'm sure it's pretty safe now because it's all over the world now now that it's a pandemic jeremy's stuff is still around and about um, I have no space for him to put all his things. He has a lot of stuff. So, um, I don't know if you've seen any of my videos, but there was an emergency uh, evacuation from his university dorm. He had four days. They told me he only had the four days to pack up all his whole dorm room. And no storage allowed this year, and he had to move out. And, yeah. Um, as a lot of you may know, I am a teacher, so I have to teach from home. And we were just recently told that school is out indefinitely, at least for the rest of the year, until things settle down. And we all know that vaccines won't be out for another 12, well, hoping 12 months, but at least a year, up to 18 months. So, but in the meantime, here I am with a messy house. <laughs> I had the time to tidy it, but I was thinking, you know what? I want to share with you guys that I want to um, make a teaching area, a teaching desk in my dining room. <laughs> and it's kind of sad in a way. Because I was going to do like a reboarding station because now that I have all this time and I have everything I already need I have like all the necessary reboarding supplies the kits the oven even <laughs> to the paintbrushes everything I have every single thing I need to reborn but I never had the room <sighs> or nor the time now I have somewhat of room and I do have the time, but I rather prioritize myself with making an online desk area. So this is my plan I want to share with you. So I put Felicity up here. 
Oh my goodness, she is so cute. I still love interacting with the Reborns. Um, not as much though, but because now that I have a busy household all the time, she is so sweet. Um, I just don't have the time. Oh, that's Monday. <laughs> um, see, it's too sunny. So that's where the car seat goes, like in there. Now, okay, guys, this is a huge mess. Beware. And I know my house is old. But this is my kitchen table. And I do <laughs> have a mess. I know it's a mess. I know. Um, I will clean that up. I will put some, like, school stuff on there. And, um, I used to have a mirror there. That's why this, oh, guys, I seriously need, like, paint. But I plan on covering that up with school stuff. Um, maybe, like, a whiteboard or, I don't, well, I don't have any whiteboards, but I do have, like, a bulletin board type thing. So... I will use that. Um, I'll move all this stuff and I'll move this table out. It's actually, it's a big table. I wonder if I should like, maybe, I don't know. I do have like folding tables. I could make it thinner, but, but I still want the table for dinner. And that is Jeremy's bookend. So I'll find room for this probably downstairs, I guess. This is his homework. Hmm. Oh, Jeremy teaches and... Oh, so that's where I look after is. <laughs> All the things I find. Oh, I'm going to show you outside. It's our next door neighbor. We, we have a dog. His name is Bear. Oh, he's barking the other way. Look, I can't believe they let their trampoline be like that. Oh, our house is so old, you guys. <sighs> Living up in northern Canada is very, very expensive. But, anyways, I guess I'll move my coffee tree into the kitchen. My... I don't know, I just want to convert this into like a teaching area, a teaching desk, set up my laptop, um, add a mouse, um, I have no mouse pad, but I'll think of something, and create like a backdrop of school stuff, and prepare myself for some online teaching, because I'll be having to do that for April, May, and June, probably, so... Um, I'm only a term teacher, so my contract ends in June, at the end of June. So I'm hoping that I could be, um, like, so I'm hoping that I could be employed next fall at the same place. I really like my new position. I just got into my new position and then all this happened. Um... If you're on my Instagram, I posted pictures of my new office. Um, I was offered a resource teaching position. So I have uh, special needs kids. I have uh, 15 on my caseload, ranging from grade 7 to grade 12. So, But I know I am offering my services to the whole school. Pretty much all the kids from grade one all the grade all the way up to grade eight i've taught every single child of, that, of those grades now i do know a few of the kindergarten kids because they used to be in um preschool back when i taught kindergarten so i'd take them home on the bus but um and 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 i know some of the high school kids so i practically know the whole school I've been teaching there since, um, well, I first started there in 2002, and I taught there for a few years until we moved into town, because a lot of you may or may not know that I commute to work 
over an hour. But when my back then my husband and I moved here to the PA, I decided to teach here in the PA. That's where I live. <laughs> I just said that. Um, I and the only thing was it wasn't a full time position. It was only half time and then three quarter time, like point seven five time, and then I got separated and the divorce and I needed a full time good paying job. So I went back to um, where I work now. It's called Moose Lake, and um, I've been teaching there since 2008, 2009, well, 2000, yeah, 2008 was when I came back. And then uh, there was a year I got ill. I got very ill. I don't know if you've been watching me for that long, but I, I got sick and I had to resign my position. Very sad. Um, so I resigned back in like... 2018 and um, I got better so I decided to try my home daycare business life I didn't like it that I love the kids I love doing it it's just I didn't like I didn't have the space in my own home so I didn't like that part so I went back to teaching but slowly i was sub teaching got term positions after term positions and i'm still on the term position so i hope that i get back in permanently i would love to get back in where my heart is i've been teaching in this lake for 14 years so i i really love it there i love the people i love the kids so yeah i'm gonna set up my dining room as a as a little office and on my office and with a good light right here the light coming in can't really see the outside but yeah i thought i'd convert this into a online desk area so oh i feel tired i feel mentally tired um yeah it's <laughs> quite strange anyways guys i'm going to go for now thank you for the short update and until next time bye guys love you oh by the way i forgot um i am starting up a youtube channel for my teaching for my online teaching kids so uh yeah it'll be fun bye guys until next time bye take care and stay safe hashtag guys <laughs>